Do you have a hard time with annual goals? Yeah, I do too. I think with the time horizon being so far out there and being a procrastinator at heart, I just struggle. Historically, what I've done in the past is set a goal that I'm going to work towards and just check in every week. And this was very effective for getting debt paid off, really funding our Roths, and getting three months <laughs> worth of expenses set aside. But I do like the idea of having some specific time frames that I'm looking at and kind of dreaming of what I can accomplish or what things I'd like to work towards in that timeline. Enter the 12 week year slash quarterly goals. So I brainstormed a couple ideas and I thought I'd show you what I came up with. Spreadsheets are my second great love and so I'll show you what I've cooked up to keep track of this. Right, so I got my Kit Kat Jumanji, we call him Juge or Juji, to cover up our goals for the next 12 weeks and we'll talk about them one by one. One of my favorite YouTubers, Katie of the House, actually inspired this, and so I have some money goals at the top, and then I have some personal goals down at the bottom, but we'll cover the money goals first. So first goal is completing Joel's Roth. We fully funded Joel's Roth for 2023, and also just recently finished funding mine for 2023 as well, but now we are trying to front load about $1,600 hundred dollars in each of our Roths for 2024. My guess is you probably know what the second one is, completing my Roth, doing all of the front loading for that. So we are putting about $270 a paycheck towards this for the remainder of the year, starting with our first check in April. And then next item on the list is moving on to focusing on our emergency fund. So up until this point, we've just put a little bit each paycheck towards our emergency fund, just all the extra bits and bobs, our credit card cash back, anytime we get a little bit extra payment, that sort of thing, we try to put it towards our emergency fund. It'll be really great to fully focus on this after we complete our Roths. One month of expenses for us is about $2,500 on like bare bones items. And so we already have about $800 saved towards month four. So we only need $1,600 more after that. All right, and then last item on this list, adding all of our extra bits and bobs to our CD ladder once we complete our Roths. So then we'll focus our main priority on our emergency fund, but then all those extras I mentioned will then be diverted to our CD ladder. So all the extra money in April would go to our May CD, all the extra money in May would go to our June CD, and so on and so forth. Our eventual goal with that will be to have one month worth of expenses in each of our one year CDs each of our CDs matures on the first day of the month. This doesn't have a specific number set to us, but it'll be cool to see how this adds up over the next 12 weeks. At the beginning here, we have about $4,200 worth of progress that we're hoping to make over the next three months or so. And then let's move on to personal goals. So for these ones, my first one is movement. I want to get back to hiking. I've kind of let that fall by the wayside and haven't prioritized it as much, but it actually does bring me a lot of joy to be out in nature, getting fresh air, and specifically sunrise hikes are just a whole nother level for me. Um, love being up with the sun and just starting the day off on a great foot. Next on the list is to read the 12 week year. I made a connection with another YouTuber last year, Mel, and she made a ton of content related to the 12 week year. I just love the idea of making it a more manageable time frame. I know there's lots of really good info on YouTube about the 12 week year as well, but I just thought it would be really enriching to read it during my first 12 week year. I had kind of planned and wanted to do a 12 week year last year, but sometimes I get stuck in the planning phase and don't actually execute my plan. And I think that's where my procrastination tendencies come into play. Here is actually the spreadsheet that I started last year when I was wanting to jump into 12 week year segments and I just never got around to it. The good news is we got all of this paid off last year. I'm excited to see if we like this 12 year, 12 year, 
<laughs> Next item on the list is listen. Joel and I both really like audiobooks, so it is really fun for us to listen to books together. We do have a road trip coming up soon, so we're going to start Mistborn on Audible. And then we also enjoy listening to books while we're walking. And then this last section is the radar. These are items I am just going to have on a list that I'll cross off when they're accomplished, but I'm not necessarily going to be tracking progress every week. First item is to attend a play. Joel and I both really enjoy theater, and we went to our first play together when we were in college and got free tickets to attend the Chicago musical play. And we still listen to that soundtrack to this day. Love Mr. Cellophane, if you know, you know. And then my youngest daughter is also in a school play, so we'll go to that as well. Second item I'd like to cross off is to get some travel in. We do have a mini road trip planned, so I'm just hoping that that comes to fruition. Last item I have on here is to create. I would like to update my Etsy listing for my budget spreadsheet. I did take my old one down and I've been working on revamping it. So at some point during this process, I'd like to get that listed again. I'm gonna start this April 1st. I think the fun part of this will be coming back after the 12 week year and moving on and reassessing what I'd like to do for the next section. I can just come in and I'll change this to a different movement, a different book, a different podcast or audiobook, you know, attending something else like a concert or comedy show, traveling. So just switching it to something else that I'd like to travel during each of these goal time periods, but then also prioritizing my creative side and putting something out there into the world. As far as how I will track these, I will put a number amount for these top money goals. I feel like those are pretty straightforward. For the weekly sunrise hike, I think I can just insert like a checkbox that I can keep track of for the 12 week year where I am in the book, how many chapters I've read, and I could even, you know, insert a note on here to put what my thoughts are for the week. Kind of same thing for Mistborn, just showing like what chapter am I on this week? I usually share my goal progress on my Transfer Tuesday videos every single week, so I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this in. Maybe I'll keep this separate. Keep an eye out for my monthly reset that I'll be posting soon. I take a look at my retirement accounts to see what the balances are sitting at, our savings accounts, and it's, so it's kind of like a net worth, but I'm not really too worried about how our house value and car values are fluctuating, so I'm really just tracking things that I'm prioritizing right now. And then I also just check to make sure all my bills came out for the month and take a look at some items that I have on the radar for the upcoming month. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I would encourage you to, yes, do the planning, but also don't forget to act on it. Leave in the comments down below what goals you would like to work towards in the next quarter or in the next 12 weeks. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.